exporting ring has become the focus of a new battle. While traditionalists want to see the sport return to the arena, local Muslims want it to turn into a mosque that once built would become the largest in Europe. RT's Metreza met both sides of the fence. Nine-year-old Ferran hopes to be a bullfighter when he grows up. Of course I'd like to kill a bull in a Barcelona ring. He spends his afternoons training with adults who dream of the bloody spectacle returning to Spain's Catalonia region. It's been banned there since 2010. The fans claim that's less to do with animal cruelty and more about Catalan politicians dumping Spanish traditions. Barcelona used to be more significant than Madrid or Seville. Recently, the owners started to think about tourism, so they raised ticket prices. But tourists didn't come, and the regulars couldn't buy tickets, so the quality of matadors suffered. These days, politicians say bullfighting is a Spanish thing, so they outlaw it. Now, La Monumental, Barcelona's last bullring, sits empty in the city's downtown. Able to hold 25,000 people, the city's Muslim community thinks it would make a great mosque. Local Muslim leaders say there are plenty of churches for Christians to use throughout Spain's Catalonia region, but not a single mosque for Muslims. They're left using commercial spaces like this one as houses of worship for the region's 500,000 strong Muslim community. There are half a million Muslims in Catalonia. It's the only community in Spain, in Europe, that doesn't have a mosque. The other congregations have helped to build their churches. Why not us? We pray in poor local spaces. How about we switch places with them? We pay our taxes. Why don't we get any government support? If we try to get money from Arab states, we're called terrorists. Kanfach also calls out Catalan politicians, labeling them hypocrites for accepting Qatar's backing of the Barcelona football team, but not allowing Qatari or Saudi money to build them a mosque. He says it doesn't need to be in a repurposed bullring. It could be anywhere in the region, but La Monumental would be ideal because it's a historic building. They could get UNESCO funds to preserve and renovate it. Proponents of Barcelona bullfighting say this place shouldn't be turned into a mall, a museum, or a mosque. To them, this is already sacred ground. I respect Islam, but there's lots of places where mosques could go. We need to wait for a court decision about the law regardless. Catalans have a range of opinions when it comes to the historic landmark. Why would Muslims come here to build a mosque? No, no, the bullring has to stay there to see it. Politicians have to do something beautiful there. But for the Muslims, no. Seems fine to me. I think they have the right like everybody else. Why can you open a cathedral but not a mosque? Do you get me? How they are going to build a mosque here if they don't allow the Catholics to build churches in their countries? There are mosques already. If not a bullring, build a shopping center, something that will make money and jobs. Regardless of the bullring's fate, local Muslims and bullfighting fans blame Catalan politicians for the impasse, leaving their pleas of support in the streets and on the dusty fields. Matt Treza, RT, Barcelona. Well, the bullfighting...